Jake Paul's been trying to look for his opponent for his sixth fight, which is to take place in August. He found an opponent in the form of Tommy Fury, but that didn't work out. Now he's to fight former sparring partner, the son of a former heavyweight champion, Haseem Rahman Jr. Let's see what's been going on on that front. Jake Paul's set for his biggest challenge, literally and figuratively to date. The content creator and aspiring cruiserweight announced Thursday of a deal to face the second-generation heavyweight, Haseem Rahman Jr. The bout will take place on August 6th at Madison Square Garden in New York City, a date that Paul has already reserved for a planned showdown with longtime out-of-ring rival Tommy Fury. ESPN.com reports that the contest will take place at the full cruiserweight limit of 200 pounds. Rahman Jr. is the son of former lineal heavyweight champion Haseem Rahman Sr., has campaigned at heavyweight throughout his five-plus year pro career. He has never weighed lighter than 211 and three quarters pounds, which came in in his seventh pro fight nearly four years ago. The 31-year-old was 215 and three-fourths pounds for a second-round knockout of Nathan Bedwell last August, and seemingly on board to meet whatever limit is required to land the plum assignment. Paul, who turned pro in January 2020 following virtually no boxing experience, has yet to fight anyone with true professional experience. The lone exception was his December 18th rematch with former UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley, whom Paul knocked out in the sixth round of their Showtime pay-per-view rematch, four months after Woodley fought Paul to an eight-round split decision in his professional debut last August 29th. The fight with Rahman, which also headlines a Showtime pay-per-view event, is the first for Paul at the true cruiserweight limit, or with a contracted limit heavier than 193 pounds. While talking about the potential bout, Paul said, Bigger, stronger, more experienced, more power. But it doesn't matter. They don't have my heart, they don't have my drive, and definitely don't have my team. August 6, I'm showing the world that Jake Paul is a bad mother. Rahman is coming off a stunning fifth-round knockout loss to James McKenzie Morrison in their battle of a second-generation fighters this past April 29th. The Las Vegas-based Rahman was perfect as a pro prior to that point and was well ahead in his fight with McKenzie Morrison before being stopped in the fifth round. When Paul announced his fight on Instagram, released footage of the pair clashing during a previous sparring session, in the clip, Rahman Jr. appears to be angry with Paul talking and promises to knock out the YouTuber. Now who's the, says Rahman Jr., squaring up to Paul. Paul uploaded the clip to his Instagram account on Thursday, alongside the captions, I've wanted this fight ever since Haseem ran his big mouth to me two years ago in the gym. My brother and manager didn't want me to take this fight. They said it was too much risk. The New York State Athletic Commission didn't want to approve this fight because they said Haseem had too much experience for me, he added. He has over 100 amateur fights, 10 times more than Tommy, but I'm built different. I'm psychotic, chaotic, problematic, but he's a heavyweight, they said. It doesn't matter to me. I'm the fighting flea. They can't hit me. I'm slippery like butter and speed like no other. My power is unique and my style is sleek. While implying that he has taken a very bold step, he said, I've made the toughest men weak. I'm not afraid of any man or what can happen. No boxer is taking this big a risk this early in their career. They don't have my heart. They don't have my soul. They don't have my drive. And they definitely don't have my team, he added. Welcome to history. Take a picture. I'm, I'm literally crazy. There, there is no reason that I should be taking this fight. Uh, Nikisa told me, he's like, I don't think the risk is worth, worth the reward. And my brother said the same thing to me. He's like, bro, I don't know if you should do this. Like, what if he accidentally knocks you out? Like, you just got knocked out by this kid who no one really knows about. Mark, Amanda Serrano reached out to me today and said, why is Jake doing this? Let's just postpone. Raman has also talked about the sparring session with Jake Paul, a session in which he seems pretty pissed off. It's unclear exactly why the heavyweight boxer is so upset, but he does suggest Paul called him up, and also seems frustrated by the fact that someone is filming him. Raman said, Jake Paul and I sparred two years ago, and let's just say I took it easy on the kid. August 6th is not a sparring session, and I'm going to separate him from God's conscience. My name is Haseem Raman Jr., and I'm going to knock out Jake Paul, really period. Really only, only using one hand. Like, I was one hand in this guy. I don't think Jake knows. I don't think he knows. What his, what his team says to his spawn partners or what, what, what the real deal is in there. Like, he wants to think that that, that was he. And okay, we're going we to we be in for a rude awakening on August 6th. You hear it there. Logan Paul, Nikisa, Amanda Serrano, they're all saying, let's just back this card up and go on that trajectory we're already on. When everyone around him, maybe not his boxing specific team, but all of his friends and managers are saying, hey, let's, let's not do this one, and he does it anyway, there's not much I can say other than you have to respect the fact he wants to go out and prove something versus a guy that's bigger than he is, more experienced than he is, and a guy that he has been in the ring with, which does lead to the flip side of this conversation, which is Jake and his team 
wouldn't make this fight unless they knew something about Haseem Rahman that Jake would have. Michael Bisping recently reacted to Jake Paul's announcement that he'll fight Haseem Rahman Jr. on August 6 at Madison Square Garden. Michael Bisping reacted to the news as former UFC middleweight champion took to Twitter and wrote, Credit where credit's due. Jake Paul finally fighting a proper opponent. It's worth remembering that Michael Bisping was among the people who raised the point that Jake Paul only fights people who are either way past their prime or significantly smaller than him in size. Both Paul and Bisping have previously been embroiled in a virtual back and forth rant amid reports that they could meet in the ring. Bisping was named on YouTube star Paul's six man hit list for a potential fight, which sparked a war of words between the pair on social media. Bisping back then said that he could very much handle Jake Paul. Listen, here's the thing, I had a great career. I'm happy with what I accomplished. I'm happily retired. I'm very, very happily retired. But I do miss the thrill of competition, and I don't see Jake Paul as necessarily a threat. I retired from boxing only because I had one eye, and I didn't want to risk my other eye. In boxing, bigger gloves against Jake Paul, I really don't see him as a threat. So Jake Paul, beating you up sounds like a lot of fun. Of course you're a big star and God bless you, well done to you, I'm not hating. Well done to you, you've done great things, all jokes aside. Because I am kind of joking, you've done great, you're earning a lot of money, you're a big star, you're getting a lot of pay-per-views and stuff like that. However, the opponent that was finally chosen was actually Tommy Fury. People were looking forward to the fight because it's been on the card for a long time. When the fight got cancelled, Paul said Fury's received a termination notice. MVP did everything it could to help him and his team, and he wasn't interested and literally went into hiding. Second time in a row he's pulled out. Second time in a row, I'm going to step up and take on a new opponent on short notice. August 6, MSG. Fury claims to have done absolutely nothing wrong and intended to appeal the decision after being turned away from Heathrow Airport in London. He said, me and my team this morning arrived at Heathrow Airport ready for the press conference, ready to fly out, and as soon as I entered the airport, I got pulled to one side. Paul later released a further statement saying he'd be willing to travel to the UK to face Fury in the future. He said, I'm confident that you're a scared little boy who doesn't want to fight or understand business. I will pay you $500,000 to fight me in the UK. It seems like Paul is already looking ahead to his next fight after Raman Jr. and has already said that he'd be willing to travel to the UK to face Fury. While Jake Paul offered Fury $500,000, he said, I'll do it shortly after August 6, you accept? Fury turned down the offer, replying, I wouldn't get out of bed to fight you for $500,000. Let me know when you're ready to have a serious conversation. Paul's received praise on social media for accepting a fight with Raman Jr., who he described as bigger, stronger, and more experienced than Fury. Jake Paul's officially earned my respect, putting some of these so-called boxers to shame, wrote one fan. Another added, okay, respect to Jake Paul, not an easy fight. However, others were more skeptical, with one Twitter user commenting, Raman Jr.'s combined opponent record was 56 of 119, and he has a sparring partner of Jake Paul? Here we go again. The fact still remains that Raman is going to be the toughest opponent for Jake Paul. A real boxer in his prime is what he is. August 6th, let's see how it turns out. So that's all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do it the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.